What's up guys, Mike here from Things We Play, and today we are taking a look at Classroom Aquatic. And this is it, it's a little PC indie game, uh, it's currently doing the rounds on Kickstarter and Steam Greenlight, you can find out more about that stuff in the link in the description of this video, and also try the game out for yourself, it does have Oculus Rift support as well, which I'd imagine would be kinda gnarly. Anyway, this is Classroom Aquatic, and um, I think I'm a dolphin, because no, they're all dolphins. Everyone's a dolphin. He's a dolphin. That's a dolphin. There's a dolphin. That's Brian. There's another dolphin. There's another dolphin. And over there, behind the desk, you can't really see her because it's all blurry at the moment. Kind of wants me to look down here. But um, over there is Mrs. Kremble. She's a dolphin as well. So we're just going to dive straight in because we're at school and I think we're going to have a pop quiz. Yeah. There's Mrs. Kremble. She's a good teacher, but she's a harsh one. Three strikes on the board, don't want to get those, otherwise it's fail, and then I have to sit there year again. Gonna have a little quiz. Not hard at all, that's good to know. It should only take five minutes. She don't want to see anyone taking their eyes off the test, guys. Sort it out. You may begin now. Okay, the Egyptian New Kingdom complex shown below was constructed for... Um... Hmm... I, uh, I don't actually know. Uh, what, what have you put? Sorry. Um, A. We reckon A. Okay, that's good. Thomas Midgley is known for his synthesis of, uh, um, this is quite, this is quite tough. I'm a dolphin. I am a dolphin. What have you got? D. Going with D. Okay, next up. The slope of a staircase is referred to as its, uh, I think it's pitch line. Pretty sure it's pitch line. Yeah, it's pitch line, it's pitch line. Okay, that's good. Going well. Hi, miss. Don't worry. Don't worry. Temperature of a Bunsen burner's flame ranges to about, um... Goodness. Anyone doing the same question? No, don't mind me. Okay, oh, you just changed your page, though. No? Okay. Where's, uh, where's Miss Grimble? She's over there, that's fine. So I can actually uh, throw pencil erasers around the room for distractions, like this. Me! But uh, I didn't, I did, well it, I mean I did, but it slipped because I was trying to pass it to someone over there and uh, you know, it won't happen again, you don't have to write it up on the board. All right, okay, thanks Miss Grimble. He's got the answer, it's D, it's D. No, C I mean. In 1230, Amanda and Kurafaba was founded by. Uh, could be anyone, couldn't it? You got that one? No? Okay. He's asking a question. Um, not that one. No, you haven't got the answer. Has anyone got the answer? I'm sorry, I wasn't I wasn't copying. The top seven ribs. Known as C. We'll, we'll skip that one because there we go. We know that one's C. We know that one's now A. Cheers, buddy. Right. What is the name of Phileas Fogg's trusty valet in around the world nowadays? I know this one. I know it's A. So that's fine. We're going with that. Not cheating. No cheat. Just throw. A, oh, just throw an eraser. Uh. Hang on. Let's just have a look. Thomas Midgley. Is the name? Yeah, see, I've got that one right. Did I do the Thomas Midgley one? I think I did. Stuck on this one in 1230. The Mandan Kurafa Kurafaba. The Kurafaba? Do you never? Oh, hang on. What's what's going on? Do you blow? Look, I was just I was trying to learn about the Kurafaba or something. Do not. You do not need to write it down. Ah, oh, and I'm gonna fail. Um, take that. That was close. Um, right, let's do. Right, it's. We know it. it's B. It's B. It's B. It's B. Okay. Uh, did we do that one? I think we did do that one. Did that one. Did that one. And James Fenimore Cooper's The Last of the Mohicans. Classic film. What was the name of Chingagook's only son? I don't know. I have no idea. 
He's doing that one. It's D. We're going over D. This normally green South American horned frog is an example of what congenital disorder? Oh, you are joking. Miss. Miss, where are you? I am a dolphin. How is this useful to me? I am a dolphin. I'll throw a thing at him. I think he's causing trouble over there. It's A. It's A. I'm done. I'm done. I did it, miss. I did it. I'm going to submit my answers. Yes. 10 out of 10. I'm going to Dolphin College. I'm going to be president. President of all the dolphins. And you'll all be my slaves. All of you. Except for you, Brian. You can be my right hand man. That's uh, it's Classroom Aquatic, and that's how you ace a pop quiz. Uh, if you like this video, guys, do hit the like button, and obviously subscribe for more dolphin-related antics, although I might be lying about that. No guarantees. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.